enjoying a meal and the waiter comes by to see if you need anything else. Instead of a simple, no thanks, someone cracks a joke like, yeah, a million dollars. Sound familiar? Let's keep it real. Waiters are there to serve, not to be your audience at a stand-up show. So when they ask if you need anything else, just let them know what you need or politely decline. We've all been there, trying to order a dish with a laundry list of modifications. No mushrooms, extra spinach, sauce on the side. You get the idea. While it's okay to customize your order a bit, keep it reasonable. Too many modifications can confuse the kitchen staff, slow down service, and mess with everyone's meal. Now, let's talk about sunglasses. Unless you've got a medical reason, or you're trying to be incognito, keep those shades off indoors. Not only is it considered rude, but it also makes it harder for waiters to know if you're trying to get their attention or just chatting with your friend across the table. You know what's not cool? Snapping your fingers or whistling at the waiter like they're your personal assistant. Let's remember that waiters are hardworking individuals doing their best to make your dining experience awesome. Treat them with respect, ask for what you need politely, and you'll get much better service in return. Let's talk about tipping. It's not just about the food, it's about the service too. If your server went above and beyond to make sure you had a great experience, show them some love with a decent tip. Remember, tipping is a way to appreciate their hard work and dedication. Ever had an amazing meal but couldn't quite finish it all? Don't worry, you can still enjoy those delicious leftovers later. Just ask your server for a to-go box and they'll happily pack up the rest for you. It's a great way to savor every last bite and reduce food waste. Just be clear about what you want packed up, and you'll be all set for a tasty meal round two. Let's talk allergies. It's important to be honest about any food allergies or dietary restrictions you may have. But here's the thing. Claiming allergies you don't actually have isn't cool. Be upfront about what you can and can't eat, and the kitchen staff will appreciate it. Now, let's talk napkins. Tucking your napkin into your collar like you're at a fancy lobster dinner? Unless you're actually at a fancy lobster dinner, let's skip that. Instead, place your napkin on your lap to catch any spills and keep things tidy. Nobody wants to hear your conversation from across the room. Whether you're dining indoors or out on the patio, keep your voice at a reasonable level. It's all about being considerate of your fellow diners and creating a pleasant atmosphere for everyone. Last but not least, Let's talk about table time. Once you've finished your meal and paid the bill, it's time to make room for the next guests. Hanging out at the table for hours on end? Not cool. If you want to keep the conversation going, consider moving to the bar or lounge area instead. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you found these tips helpful for your next dining adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to show your support and drop a comment below letting us know which tip resonated with you the most. Thanks for tuning in, take care, and much love to you all.